Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger's number one most important muscle building tip. You probably heard a million tips before, but this video is worth watching. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. If I feel like shit or if I look like shit, I feel like shit. Sciences are actually kicking my ass this week. Allergies. So, Arnold's most important muscle building tip. And I want you guys that are interested in building muscle or you power builders that are in the off season, I want you to try this this week. It's kind of a concept that I use with my trainees. It's a staple concept for anybody that wants to build muscle. And there is a specific application, a specific method I want you to try. Now, what Arnold said, and I'm paraphrasing, is basically the last three to four reps are where the muscle grows, where, where you're getting it done, where you're really pushing to get the most out of a set, where, where you're taking it to the level where you're encouraging muscle growth. Now, sounds kind of bro sciencey, but Arnold kind of knew what was going on. Number one, pushing yourself deep into a set. Um, basically mental strength, right? You're, you're encouraging mental strength. You're building mental strength. You're, you're girding up those big juicy testicles and you're forcing yourself to do something that you don't really want to do. So there's a benefit in that, but that's not the main benefit. The deeper into a set you go, the more muscle fibers you are recruiting. So the deeper, the, the, the more reps you get, the closer to failure you get. And we're going to practice safe sets here, and I'm going to get into that. The deeper into a set you get, the more muscle fibers you're recruiting. So that's going to help, obviously, with the muscle building process. Also, by pushing yourself deeper, you're, you're basically naturally, naturally forcing progression. It's basically just auto-regulated progression. You're pushing yourself to the limit. And if you get one more rep, two more reps than last week, you didn't set out to do that, but that's what you did by pushing your set to the limit. Now, one thing I've always taught people, and I've said this probably a thousand times on this channel and probably a thousand times in my article, is practice safe sets. What does that mean? There's no need to train a failure. Because training to failure just increases injury, likelihood, injury, or likelihood of strains, pains, etc. But what you want to do is push a set for as many quality reps as possible, stopping that set when you feel like you might fail on the next rep or when your form starts to break down. So you're in the middle of a set, you think you're gonna fail on the next rep, stop the set. That's as close to failure as you need to get. And that's in the Arnold zone. You're pushing it those last three to four hard reps. One way you can tell during a set when things are going all to hell and it might be time to start to consider shutting things down is when your bar speed starts to slow. Now, obviously, if you're doing like a, say you're doing a machine chest press, we'll just whip out a machine example here. And you're pressing along, you're pressing along, you got a good eccentric, you're pressing along and then it starts to slow a little bit. And then it starts to slow a little bit more. You get that awareness. That point where it starts to slow is usually that Arnold zone, right? Or, or close to it for all, you know, for sake of example. You're starting to slow and then you get to that rep that's really slower than the others. That's probably time to, to stop a set because you're probably going to fail either on the next rep or the rep after that. So practice safe sets. We want to stop the set when the form is going to break down where you feel like you're going to fail on the next rep. Here's what I want you to do, okay? What I want you to do is do this on the last set of an exercise only this week, okay? Let's say you're doing leg extensions. Do your first two sets for 10, 12, whatever reps you're doing, and then the last set for as many reps as you can. Let's say you're doing dumbbell curls. Do your first two sets normal, three sets normal, whatever it is. 10, 8, 12 reps, and then the last set, go balls deep. Go for as many quality reps as you can. Bench press, do your first two sets normal. Let's say you're doing six rep sets, five rep sets, whatever. And then on the last set, do as many reps as you can. This is going to be a form of auto-regulated progression. This is going to help you build a little bit more muscle. 
and it's going to wire you to start doing that every single workout. What I like to do and what I like to encourage my uh, trainees to do, and my clients to do, is do this on the last set, the last set of an exercise. You're going to be encouraging the muscle building process. You're going to be forcing yourself to progress because it doesn't leave you an out plan. You're going in on that last set of an exercise. All right, I've laid the groundwork. I'm all warmed up. It's time to go to war. And if you push that set a couple more reps than what you what your basic goal was, let's say you were doing a, a three by five on bench, three by eight on bench, three by 10 on curls. If that last set is a couple reps higher than your basic rep goal of eight, 10 or whatever it is, then it's time to add weight. So Arnold was on to something, okay? Arnold was on to something. Push those sets. Get in the habit of pushing at least one set per exercise to the safe limit, safe limit. You're going to encourage the muscle building process. You're going to be challenging yourself. You're going to be focused on progressive overload. You're not going to leave yourself any way out, and, and you're going to be building some good quality mental strength by challenging yourself no matter what. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.